Seduction or smear. I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable, my manners genteel. Whatever makes you think she will accept your suit? Are the young ladies of London truly so easily won? Perhaps tomorrow night. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I wanted to see you. My affairs are no longer your concern, sir, as you have already made abundantly clear. But I miss you. You have made me promises before, and I, like a fool, believe them. Wow. You're smiling. I see my plan to win you over is already working. I was smiling at the view, which you are now blocking. Miss Sharma, by the end of your stay, your opinion of me will be much improved. That's what heads. Amusing. Did not say it was. Tell me, Frank, <sighs> what must I do to win your approval? <laughs> oh. I believe you may have strayed too far from home tonight. See, in a place, in a place where you and I might be accepted, with none of the shame nor recriminations that this society grants us, would you have me then? And yet you deprive me the luxury of sleep. I, no apologies. I've taxed your patience for the last time. My feelings would not allow me to speak. Your strength? Exasperation, perhaps. Vexation, most definitely. The only feeling you are in fact capable of engendering, my lord, is that of discontent. Can you breathe? It is only a sting, of course. Are you certain? Do you think that there is a corner of this? 
this earth that you could travel to far away, love, to free me from this torment. Night and day, I dream of you. No more. To be plagued by these feelings, hiding from my sister. <laughs> I'd wait for the both of you. Were. Well, I would take them, but. <laughs> I should prepare for my show. And you, well, I believe there is a ball somewhere in your presence. Oh, do not tell me you shall find some young lady to lead in a waltz or evening. I shall not be anywhere near that dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> about coming with you tonight. I envision myself in your arm, dancing the entire night away. I am doing the very thing I have always done. I am looking out for myself and I cannot allow you to set me adrift as well. I love you. I've loved you from the moment we raced each other in that park. I've loved you at every dance. I do not know what to say. You do not have to say anything. I do not think there is anything else to say. Other than I love you too. I know I am perfect, but I will humble myself before you because I cannot imagine my life without you. And that is why I wish to marry you. I know I've been unfair. Let me go. I am comfortable. I am content. You need to let me go. You're right. I'm sorry, Sienna. I'm so sorry. 